Hi, this is Oda from NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory. Today we're going to use the power of the sun to make artwork. The sun, our closest star and center of our solar system, sends a few different types of energy toward Earth. One is infrared radiation, which we feel as heat. Another is visible light, which our eyes can see. And yet another is ultraviolet light, often referred to as UV. We can't see ultraviolet light with our eyes, but it can burn our skin if we stay in the sun too long without proper protection. We should never look directly at the sun because it can harm our eyes. But NASA has telescopes that use special filters to look at the sun, allowing us to see some of the sun's interesting features. Today's activity will have you using the power of the sun to learn some interesting science and make a personalized art piece. You'll need a few items. A piece or two of construction paper, red or green colors work best. Some sunscreen lotion, SPF 30 or greater will have the best results. And a few rocks. If you have some regular lotion, grab that too. Rub the sunscreen all over the palms of your hands and the surfaces of your fingers. Don't rub it in so much that the sunscreen all absorbs into your skin you should still barely see a layer of sunscreen on your hands. Place your hands firmly on the construction paper. Be sure to press down all of your fingers and the palms of your hands. Then lift up your hands. Then place the piece of construction paper outside in a sunny spot. Make sure that the spot you choose will have constant sunlight for several hours. Place a small rock on each corner of the sheet of paper to keep the paper from blowing away in the wind. Leave the paper out in the sun for three to four hours. After the long wait is over, go outside and look at your paper. You should notice that the sun's UV rays have faded the color of the paper. However, the areas that were protected from the ultraviolet rays of the sun by the sunscreen still have the original bold color. But how do you know it was the sunscreen that protected the paper? Maybe regular lotion would work just as well. Repeat the experiment using regular lotion. Be sure to wash all the sunscreen off your hands first before you apply the lotion. Then repeat the experiment. What else can you use to protect your paper and your skin from the sun? Use other items as well to shield your paper and create a variety of artwork. For more information and detailed instructions, go to this page. Have fun experimenting and learning how to protect your paper and your skin from the sun.